Hello there, you guys. Welcome back. Hope everyone's having a fantastic uh, Tuesday, I think. It's Tuesday. Pretty sure it's Tuesday. We're playing Animal Crossing. It's either Tuesday or Thursday. <laughs> or Saturday. It's Tuesday. Um, welcome back, you guys. Hope everyone's having a good day. Um, I am feeling a little bit foggy-headed today. It's like the weather in Animal Crossing. It's like the weather outside. I'm just, like, not here. <laughs> but welcome on in, you guys. Welcome back. Um... Plans for today, I think we're just going to be doing some work around memory, doing some public works projects. Um, I want to start again with reading the Blue Rose, so we're going to see how that goes. Um, and that's pretty much my plans for today, but how are you guys doing? Uh, Matt, sir, yes, yes. Caroline, hello, hello. How are you guys all doing today? Um, I'm going to scroll up in chat, try to say hello to as many people as possible. Um, so, kitty cat. Duddles, uh, Gumbelliness, welcome on in, Onyx Cat, Sting, um, who else, who else am I missing, Mary.com, hello, Legends of Link, um, Random, of course, Caroline, welcome on in, Animal Crossing Cookie, hello, hello, um, so yeah, I think it's just gonna be a really chill, quiet stream today, I just, like, mentally I feel like I have, like, a, a wall in front of me almost, it's weird, there's a lot of emotes happening very suddenly. <laughs> Red Arrow with the seven month of resub, I think that is. Um, thank you so very much. Seven months, two months away from sub baby. We gotta start thinking of a name. I'm feeling I'm going to name it something coffee related. Very nice, very nice. I'm okay with that. Um, if we could name it something to do with coffee and chocolate, that'd be even better, because coffee's not really my jam. <laughs> uh, Darcy, hello, how's it going? Welcome on in. Adam, hello. It's like a truck beeping outside just when I go live. Like, literally was not happening at all this entire morning. Uh, Gracie came to your town. Very nice, very nice. I hope she's coming to mine soon. Mocha? Maybe. <laughs> Something like that. Hi, Cruel World. How's it going? The night sun. Hello. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a rainy, kind of gross day in memory. It's just kind of meh. But Bob, they're all walking around with their umbrellas, so that's pretty cute. Um... I'm not going to complain too much about that. Why don't we go ahead and switch on over into gameplay here, though? Um, the coffee chocolate melts into consideration for names. Thank you. <laughs> um, is it feed? Bed? I'm not sure how you want me to say your name, but hello. Welcome on in. I'm sorry if I butchered it. There's no hello, hello. Welcome on in, you guys. Welcome on in. Got a haircut today, so the horse forehead is exposed. Oh, no. No, I'm sure it's not that bad. I mean, I'm, I, I said I was going to get a haircut with Mike last week, and then we didn't end up getting it done, so... I don't know. Maybe this weekend? Because my hair is... This is why I've been wearing the hat recently. It's just... It's not been cooperating. I don't know if it's, if it's the weather or what, but it's just, like, not liking me at all. Judex, hello. We only just started, so it's probably why it hasn't gone off just yet. Uh... Yes, random, I saw. That was hilarious. Um, let me see here. Back to our normal haircut? Yes, we are. Yes, Matt, sorry, I had that done just before stream because it was something else. Uh, Unipug, hello. I should know some PM by now. It's okay, it's fine. <laughs> uh, Midnight Sun, no, no. Um, there's been a lot of times where people have been lurking for a while before I even, like, see them in chat, so... I tend not to remember. Um, especially now that I'm streaming every single day. It gets it, they all kind of blend together eventually. I'm about to get back from work before I can put food onto cooking. The sugar is real. What are you guys gonna have? What are you guys gonna have? Um, dear Crystal, right now I'm writing you this letter while sitting on Ayers Rock in Australia. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh some people call it the belly button of the world. I guess the world has an Audi. <laughs> Well, Animal Crossing Cookie, I hope you have a fantastic birthday. Uh, Harry Hair, hello! Thank you so much for, uh, for coming on by and thank you very much. I'm, I'm glad you like it. Um, so, hello Crystal. I bought this by mistake the first time my mom sent me on an errand. It's all beat up and sad looking now, so I want you to have it. I'm sure you can make it happy again. Oh boy, Eric. <laughs> Playing Wii Sports Resort is very nice. It's a game I have not had the chance to try. Nisha, hello. I'm crossing switch hype. <laughs> Hopefully in two weeks we'll hear something. Hopefully with E3. 
All right. Oh, he sent us a train set and we got the thing from Gulliver. I'm probably not going to keep either of those, but they're both pretty cute anyway. Um, this is stuff that I bought yesterday when I was offline. Latista, hello, hello. In the Skull Cavern, I don't think the extra 25 health is worth it. Yeah, the Skull Caverns are a little bit dangerous. I only go in there really for like, um, Iridium. Stormy Jake, hello. I hope you're enjoying. Yes, you know. Southern fried chicken, fried potatoes, smiles, beans, and salt. Oh my god, Bernard, that sounds amazing. First off, can I come over? <laughs> Main weather is pretty menacing. It's beautiful 70 Fahrenheit here yesterday. Now it's chilly. And yeah, it's just. We've been having a lot of rain recently. Oh, I didn't know what this song was. Oh, well, now I know. There we go. Got such a pack to cruising. Proper hailing outside? Oh no. Bad weather all around. Abby Crossing, hello, how's it going? Um, and I picked up a couple more bushes and stuff for me to hoard, because that's what I do. Little Lavender Fox, hello, hello, welcome back. Okay, so these are all ones I'm keeping. That's for Daza. Sell those. All right, cool. So I have you in a warm blanket. That's that's the main thing. I've been so tempted recently to just drape myself in a blanket before stream, but I know that I'll end up overheating midway through and just the whole ordeal, so. Yeah, not at all, not at all. We're going to be hanging out in memory today. We're going to be working on um, the town, specifically flowers. I wanted to try and breed like, officially start breeding blue roses today, but, um, it's raining, <laughs> so that's great. Hi, Ark, you enjoy your lurk, dude. Abundi, how's it going? Welcome on in. Um, okay. Let's see here. Big purple soft blanket, very nice, very nice. I had Tiger in here before stream. <laughs> I had Tiger Cuddles before we went live, but I knew he was going to be really, uh, Pesty during stream, so I didn't let him stay in here. Uh, I am Preston. Hello, welcome on in here. How you doing? I no longer wish to adult. If you need me, I shall be in my fluff torch. <laughs> Love it. Great music is relaxing. It is. It's very relaxing. I'm so sorry if you guys can hear that truck. I don't know what it's doing, like backing up. So frustrating. Uh, Midnight Sun, was your last message about asking... Oh, here we go. I'm trying to get Sally's pick, but I don't know how to. Just keep doing favors for her, keep befriending her, and eventually it'll happen. <laughs> um, I need to change that mic command. I haven't changed it in forever. I keep forgetting. Cooled, hopefully, hopefully. Ooh, are we playing hide and seek, Bob? I can do that. Don't really know what to do now in Stardew. Oh my god, there's so much you can do. It. I think Gracie's with us. First off, guys, Gracie's in town. Second off, she's playing hide and seek. Third, she's not facing the right way. I didn't hit that. That just went on on its own. I didn't know it would do that. Interesting. Okay, well, <laughs> Mike is uh, going to work. He's getting ready for work right now. Yeah, I did say I wanted to get Gracie in here, and, and you know, here she is. Freaking hell, you're not very late at all. We've only just started. Um, we're just doing dailies. Bob asked us to play hide and seek, so Astrid is back there. Hi, nice, Sasha, how's it going? Giraffe is in town. <laughs> Lily, hello, how's it going? Okay, so there's one one villager. We're missing Bob and Blue Bear. So if you guys see them and I kind of walk by, let me know. Uh, Wayfarer in red. Am I saying your name right? Let me know. <laughs> Welcome on in. Oh, there's Blue Bear. All right, just Bob left. Greatness, hello. You're homesick today. I'm sorry that you're not feeling well. I mean, you know, it... 
to be fair, when I was in school, being homesick was not necessarily always a bad thing. It was kind of nice to have the time off, but at the same time, it's not fun being sick. <laughs> Dang it, right? Perfect. Well, come on in. Um, okay, so this is all good. If you guys see a purple cat anywhere in here, please <laughs> do tell me. More my games around town like hide and seek. I hope so too. I'd like to see more villager interaction for sure. Uh, fast round of hide and seek because they're both so close together. Watch as Bob is all the way down the beach behind a palm tree. Just watch. Oh gosh, that thing is beeping at me again. Ugh. <laughs> okay, he was not back there. Uh, Rock Boys, hello, how's it going? Welcome on in. Come on in, you guys. If you guys are just joining us, we only just started. You aren't very late at all. Um, I just started to do dailies when Bob is like, hey, you want to play hide and seek? And I'm like, sure, I can probably do that. Watch as I can't. <laughs> Working in a Pixelmon server. You know what? I still need to look into Pixelmon. <laughs> I'll be on the other side of the, of the map though. Oh, maybe. You be honestly, I expect him down the beach. Dagger, hello, how's it going? Welcome on in. And uh, Andrew, hello, hello. I hope you had fun playing Mario Kart. It's okay that you lost track of time. Assuming that means you were enjoying it. Did something you should not have done to cross the leaf. And do I do I want to know? <laughs> That's my first question. Um, did you not play for a while? Were your villagers upset with you? Because I know they get mad at me. Okay, if he's I was gonna say if he's hiding behind his house, he's hiding behind his neighbor's house. Oh god. Gracie, you were like, <laughs> you didn't even move, girl. Uh, always behind hides behind his own house. I love that. <laughs> Don't know anything about tomorrow's exam. I feel very really sick, but I still have a lot to finish. Well, I wish you the best of luck. I know exam season is never any fun. Gracie's just hanging out. She's like, she's staring right into that camera. She she does not care about that fourth wall at all. Town called Bobwood, thanks for the inspiration. Now the question is, do you have Bob in that town? We already found all four of us. Wow, okay. I'll take it. Double <laughs> Stella, hello, just restarted Animal Crossing, let's go. Yes, I think I saw your tweet. You tweeted at me, didn't you? I think I saw that just this morning before I went live. Oh, you, you time travel to get the QR code reader. It's okay, lots of people do that. Lots of people do it. No, <laughs> Stormy Jake, I'm glad you like it. It's very fitting for a lot of my life, so. Uh, Ricky, I'm feeling a little bit better. I, I tempted fate and I ate a lot of food for lunch, and that's probably not gonna be good for me later on, but. <laughs> Icon in fashion and hide and seek. What a queen. <laughs> Rudeness, I don't think so. I'm not sure, though. Hydrangeas, hello. Welcome back. Love carrying an umbrella. Rain or no rain. Umbrellas totally make me feel like dancing. You are just the cutest thing, and I am not against that shirt that she's wearing right now, I'm not gonna lie. That's probably one of the better shirts I've seen her in. Best day to use the help icons for you. Well, see, there we go. It doesn't just fit me, it fits you guys. That's the main thing. Oh, your cousin gave you his amiibo. Well, that's good. The help emote new it is it is as of yesterday actually we uh, introduced it i actually made it yesterday morning and it got approved very quickly um rock boys you can post it once but i ask that you only posted that just that one time just because i don't want my my chat being uh, clogged up with friend codes i heard fishing out of the river i don't know what's wrong with me but river fish keep slipping off my line when i'm fishing would you mind catching one for me? Any kind of river fish would be good. I can do that. Molly Moo, hello. Um, go for a meal with your family. No worries. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay. 
seeing who's the most snooty. <laughs> Alright, let's catch this river fish for Astrid. Harv, hello? I hope uh, your internet sorts itself out if it hasn't already. Guys, I have a confession to make. I've played about six to seven hours of The Sims 3 since last night. <laughs> it's I've I've been pulled in. <laughs> and it's not a good thing. Uh are oh god, am I I'm not gonna say this right again. Arlinia, am I saying that right? I'm so sorry. <laughs> How's it going? Sims 3 is great. It's a good game. It just still runs like a potato on my computer somewhat. Bad statement. No, I didn't do such I didn't I didn't do stuff this morning. I was meant to like work on the new emotes and like you know all that stuff, and I did I did not. I did not. <laughs> I got it. Perfect. Perfect. Welcome back. Played Sims 4? I have. I bought it a couple months ago. I shouldn't have bought it a couple months ago because now it's free. I don't know if it's still free as of now though. I think it was ending today. Um, and there was no point to me buying it essentially and I'm a little bit ticked off. What's the buzzing sound? There's construction outside. Should I close the window? If it's loud, I can close it. How many hours have you played Stardew on Steam? 460 last time I checked. Something like that. In comparison, Sims 3 on Steam. I've only played 87. Oh, that's painful to say. <laughs> No worries, Midnight Sun, that's cool. Nintendo, hello, Cat Queen, welcome on in, you guys. How's it going? Um, okay. So, where was I putting these? Because I think these areas were pretty much done over here. Oh, Colton is in. Sissy, please, hello, hello. You haven't eaten so oh yeah, you might want to eat something. Mighty Owl and Pepperoni, hello, how's it going, you guys? Do you play many PC games? Um, I have a decent collection of games on Steam, but I'm definitely more so a um, console player. Uh, to be honest, I'm a bit bored of the blue ringmaster coat in that spot of my room. I'm trying to find furniture that would fit in better. Do you have any modest suggestions? Okay. I can do that for you. Twitch Prime Optimus. <laughs> I had to ask for extra paper. It was kind of embarrassing. Oh gosh, there's always the kids who did that when I was in school. And I always felt bad because I didn't need any extra paper. I felt like I was like not writing enough or... But I, at the end of the day, you know... Everyone writes differently. You had Taco Bell today. What did you get from Taco Bell? You say anything other than a crunch wrap. I don't I don't Well, you know, to each their own, but like crunch wraps are like we all know that's where it's at. Um <laughs> Oh, you cute oh you changed your shirt. When did you change? <laughs> Uh, Lily, I can indeed. Okay, it's just a regular workout day, no special events are going on. But you gotta make sure you don't have sore muscles on days when we do have special events. Um, let me see here. Kevin, why? <laughs> Chalupas are where it's at. You know what? I don't know if we got those here. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Our menu here from the Taco Bells I've been to are almost condensed. They don't have as much on them. But if they do have it, I'll look for it next time so I can try it out. I just remember something kind of interesting. Well, interesting to me. Recently got to chat with someone from Foxley named Reach. I was really getting sort of individual vibe from her. I thought it was pretty funny. Nintendo, very nice. 
Uh, Lily, were you in here under a different username by any chance? Because I had someone else tweet at me. Um, there are two cats, but that was uh, someone by the name of Stardew Valley. Like one, two, three, or something like that. Something supreme burrito with the chicken queso. Okay, you had chicken, so that's good with me. <laughs> Say, what do you think of my outfit? Um, I love his outfit so much. <laughs> awesome. I have finally achieved my lifelong dream of looking cool. Let's see. Okay, so you changed your username. Okay. Buffer Whisper, hello. How's it going? Welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Press conference today for Pokemon. I have no clue what to expect from that because we have an E3 next week. Or, sorry, not E3. We have a, a Nintendo Direct for Pokemon Sword and Shield next week. And then we have this conference tonight, and I don't know what that is, so... <laughs> um... What small it got me big scores with the ones who grade your exams? Well, that's... that's good, I guess, right? Don't have... Taco Bell in Ireland, we have... Hi hillbillies? <laughs> is that... Like, does it have burritos and stuff like that, or is it just like another fast food place? Mm -mm -mm. Where was I? I have orange lilies and I don't know where I was putting them. Um, oh, look at she's using the path that broke my heart. That's so cute. Oh, she wants me. Okay. Hi. Feeling like a withering flower here, Cookie. I know, weird, right? Anyway, I decided I can bloom again. No. Nope. What? No. <laughs> nope. Not happening. KFC and Burger King. I mean, those are all good. I mean, you know, minus KFC. They're all good fast food places. Okay, so I think we found all the fossils. We've talked to. Uh, all of our villagers except for Cube and Midge and Phoebe. Spherical radar, okay. <laughs> Tacos and burritos and chicken have a mix of everything. Okay. Uh Game Girl, thank you so very much for the host. Much appreciated. Game Girl. I think I think this is you. I don't mean to be creepy. <laughs> I lurk in a lot of people's streams, and I kept seeing, I think it was you, um, in a bunch of people's streams this morning, and I was just like, oh, I see, I see you. I know that name. <laughs> I lurk. I lurk really hardcore, so no one knows that I'm there, but... Razzy Poo, hello, how's it going? That's a burnt chicken nugget, aka Phoebe, aka Best Bird. <gasps> Midge is Best Bird, we all know this. A direct a week early. I'm, cu I'm curious about that, too. See, I'm doing okay. How about you? It was you? Yeah, I was... <laughs> Jimbo, how's it going? I was lurking in Sugar Mama's stream this morning, and then I was also lurking in... <sighs> I think his, his channel is highly in group gaming or something like that. He's very chill to listen to. Um, He's never online so that I can like host him after I go offline, but... He's been, like, part of my morning routine for, like, the last week or so. <laughs> okay, don't think I need any of that. Do people reckon they're doing the Pokemon Direct early so they don't have to focus too much on it, taking away from... or making way for other games? It's, it's fascinating, because Pokemon is one of their heavy hitters, and you think they want to show it off during E3, and then, like, I don't know. I don't know. It, I Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. When I first heard that they were doing a Direct a week before E3, I'm like, okay, this is Animal Crossing. Because I love it, you guys love it, we all love it, but I don't think it's as heavy, it's as heavy of a hitter as Pokemon is. So it was, it was really weird, but I... <laughs> I guess we'll see. <laughs> Trying to paint my nails. 
more than we're trying. It's not going well. Oh gosh, I can paint my nails on my right hand perfectly. Left hand, because I'm left-handed, does not work. I don't usually paint my nails though, usually. <laughs> Oh, Animal Crossing cookie, does he? Uh, Sword Shield on today's conference probably announced the Sword Shield Direct at the same time for people not to get disappointed. Yeah. No, I think it's gonna be like spin-offs or something like that. <laughs> Random game, really? Yeah, I heard him mentioning me earlier and I'm like, oh god. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I, I was just like, oh. I want to speak up in chat, but it's a weird time. <laughs> Like it's, selling. it's it's a huge franchise for sure. Left-handed, yes, yes. <laughs> Hope they don't go overboard. So sword and shield info like they did Sun and Moon, yes, yes. They showed us pretty much everything. Hair naturally curly because it looks really pretty. Thank you. It is. It's hectic, and I I have recently been wearing a hat because it's just not been cooperating on top. But um. I actually like it. When I was younger, I always wanted to straighten my hair and I didn't like curly hair. But now I've kind of just grown into loving it, I guess. Saturday nights and Monday nights. Okay, for sure. I'll, I'll have to go check him out then because I need to I need to drop him a host or something because he's really cool to listen to. Movie Detective Pikachu since it was so successful. Ooh, I don't know. I, don't, I didn't know how successful the movie was, honestly. I just I enjoyed it when I saw it. Hi, Wookie Eevee. How's it going? Predict this conference will be about spin-off games. I I'm not gonna lie, when I hear spin-off, my first thought now for Pokemon, instead of Mystery Dungeon, which is what it was before, is now like let's go. Cause that needs to be a spin-off series. I need that in my life. But I don't think they're gonna do another one so soon, so. Unfortunately. Best selling movie worldwide for two weeks. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I thought the Avengers was still hitting the top of the charts. Seville, why would you think that I hate you, dude? Oh, park 3 for the Switch. I just... I don't know what I want to see. I honestly... The Pokemon spin-offs that I played as a kid... I had Pokemon Ranger, which is a strange game. Um, but the one that I really enjoyed the most, or the ones that I enjoyed the most, were Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon... XD Gale of Darkness on the GameCube, like those spin-off RPG, I mean it's still RPG, but like, you know, um, Pokemon games that were normal per se. Angry Meow, hello! Oh gosh, someone has a flea. The blue bear, is that you? Don't you dare give fleas to Bob. Where's my net? There we go. There we go. <laughs> Do you just find a flea on me? Yuck, yuck, yuck. I swear, I bathe all the time. But maybe that... Hor horchata? Bubble bath is a bad idea. I don't know what that is. But I'll, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Assuming it's some sort of food. Or drink. Blue bear basic hygiene. My villagers have issues with that for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know where that started. The Spanish drink. Okay, see, I figured it was something, like, edible. You crossover about spin-offs with Pokemon and once an Animal Crossing Pokemon spin-off crossover? That would be... I don't... Mm. The only way I'd ever want to see a spin-off with Animal Crossing with anything else is how they handled the spin-off. Uh, it, it, it isn't a spin-off. How they handled the Legend of Zelda characters in... Or Splatoon-esque characters in Animal Crossing where they were unique villagers that you could get through Amiibo. And like, I could have... A Pikachu villager, right? Like, something like that. I wouldn't mind that, but otherwise, I don't know. Talking to a neighbor and someone smacks a net on their head? Mood. <laughs> okay, so that's good. Um, I still need to fix that sign. I'm gonna do that off stream, though. It's not exactly the most entertaining thing to watch, I feel like. Oh, gosh, we have Gracie. I should probably talk to her first. 
I don't want to. I don't want to see what she has. You guys got to help me with this because I am so bad at Gracie's fashion checks. Oh gosh. Okay. Hi. Mm. I don't like you. <laughs> Hello there. Are you a native of this little town? Of course you are, and you have perfect timing to boot. I happen to be the creative force behind a certain ultra-fashionable fashion brand. Your precious town will be begging me to open a shop here, so I want to see the place with my own eyes. Uh, I'll only bring my brand here if the citizens are sufficiently style-savvy. You interested in fashion, darling? Let's just say yes. And get along. <laughs> Uh, Seville, don't they only come, like, once a week? Fashion, exactly. <laughs> That's my thoughts, too. Hope you're up to the task. Oh, here. Here's how it goes. I give you a super stylish theme, and you get until the end of the day to get yourself styled up in an outfit to match that theme. Of course, I expect to see you coordinate shoes and accessories to go along with your, with your get-up. <laughs> um, alright, theme. Cute. Okay. I probably am not gonna be able to pull those off. <laughs> Alright, we got a cute theme, you guys. What what do I have that is cute themed? Man, do you not know who the mayor is? Rude. <laughs> Wally well, your Smash Bros. Hello. Oh, Seville, I didn't know that would work. I'm not gonna be time traveling, but I'm interested in the hint anyway, thank you. Flex is beauty. <laughs> Me though. <laughs> Hadfoot, hello. BB as well. And for some of the first theme, she'd automatically open the shop out of admiration. I wouldn't be against that. <laughs> you have the Santa outfit, right? Oh. Maybe. Is this cute? Sporty. Mm. I've been feeling a little bit better. Why is it all. No, give me something cute. <laughs> Um, how do you unlock Shampoodle? You have to spend 8,000 bells in total at the Able Sisters, and then Kicks will unlock. And then when you spend a total of 10,000, so essentially 2,000 more, um, in both Kicks and the Able Sisters, Shampoodle will open if it's been seven days since Kicks is opened, I think. I'm trying to remember that one. <laughs> um, couldn't I get the cute theme last time? All I have is cuteness, but no, I had to get the flashy one. <laughs> Wear the Santa outfit, you win the fashion check. Okay, let me see if I still got it. Did I? I'm not gonna have the San San Santa outfit because I started on the 26th of December. So I don't have the outfit. That's disappointing. Is this cute? Flashy. Overall dress is cute? Okay. Basic. Oh gosh. Did you get Gracie to appear? You need to one. Um, I think you need to spend a certain amount of bells in Timmy and Tommy's store and have it upgrade to just like the one I have right now. I think it's TIY. Are any of these cute? Is this cute? That's that's not cute. Uh. Cute clothing is super easy to find. It's 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 got to be my luck, you know. <laughs> Blossom clothes, bear bunny. Oh gosh. Okay. Where's forest when we need? I know. I know. Will these even tell you? Will she tell you when you're wearing it? Official look. There we go. Okay. So. That's where she tells you. Look at the bandages? Okay. Sporty. I thought so. The reason why I hoarded all the clothes before I unlocked the shop? Yeah, no, I... I don't. <laughs> I avoid this kind of stuff. Um, okay. Bandages? Sporty. 
How about those glasses, though? I'm just gonna check everything. Uh, Nikki Mouse, hello, how's it going? Welcome on in. Luigi had it. Oh, if the Luigi had it. Oh, isn't that iconic? I'm pretty sure. Flashy. And then the goggles have to be sporty. Um, Lily, you need to unlock them through leveling up your farming, and then you'll have the recipe in your crafting menu. Everything that has polka in the name or cute clothes. I probably don't have any of that. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna win this fashion check, you guys. <laughs> Do you have anything that's cute? You probably don't. Oh, those are cute. I'm buying those. They're purple too. I'll take those. Do I have to wear shoes too? I probably do, don't I? These are gonna be official, I think. No, those are sporty. Pikmin stuff? I don't think I have any of that. Um, I don't have access to play coins on this save file, so. Macro, hello. Um, I really need cute clothes. I don't know if you got any. Everything is sporty today. Well, I got the socks. I don't know what my rainbow socks are, but I'm assuming they're not cute. Oh, I have little stars on my feet. That's adorable. Yeah, if you guys, like, if you guys want to help, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Um, let me go see what I have in my storage. I don't really have very many clothes. I got rid of a lot. Uh, I'm probably going to mispronounce your name. Mis Miskalisk? Am I saying that right? Hello. Welcome on in. Currently on episode 9. Well, we've progressed quite a ways since then. Um, but welcome on in anyway. How are you doing? Um, I think I need shoes, pants, shirt, or dress, um, and then an accessory. Hi, Pepper. How's it going? Pepper, do you have any cute clothing I could steal for, like, five minutes? Team was sporty. Explorers had a random t-shirt, a jean shirt. Yeah, I- usually when I do the fashion check, it looks horrendous. <laughs> Um, I got a PJ shirt. Oh gosh, whoops. <laughs> um, yeah, Pepper, I need anything that's cute. Chain gang tee. I got a toad hat. Is that cute? That's iconic. Probably. Oh wait, here's some clothes. I have hero pants, rainbow tights, blue PJ bottoms. Yellow rain boots. Does any of these ring a bell for anyone as being cute? Beardo Rodriguez, I don't. I don't. I started this town after Christmas last year, so I didn't have the chance to get any of it. Toad hat is cute. Is it? Or is it iconic? Oh, I have an overall dress. Is that cute? Let me know if that's cute. Okay, I'm seeing a couple of people who have the... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so rainbow- I think I'm getting an outfit. I think I got it, you guys. Toad is cute. Okay, I'm trusting you. I'm gonna look wonderful. <gasps> Eric! <laughs> Eric's coming to bother me. Uh... Oh, breaking hell. I feel that. I feel that. Honestly, New Leaf is very, very forgiving when it comes to people not playing. What I noticed is... You can start playing after a couple months and no one will have left. And then within that first week of you playing again, someone will ask to leave or will leave. So you have to like be careful. I hope you don't mind me popping in like this. I was getting tired of walking and I realized I was right in front of your house. I thought I should at least say hello. Chrisma, we're picking an outfit for the uh, Gracie's fashion check, which is a scenario and a half. <laughs> 
Overall dress is cute. Okay, so I have a bunch of cute stuff then. Um, I don't know if it's okay that I don't have an accessory. I got the I got the overall dress, you guys. I got it. I have overall dress, yellow rain boots, and a toad hat. <laughs> Oh, I almost forgot. I have a present for you. Here. I hope you enjoy my lava- Oh! <gasps> yes. Give me that. <laughs> I need that in my life. Can I- can I refurbish this to be a different color? It's fine not having an accessory? Oh, okay. Okay. Eric. Look at my beauty. Oh, actually, this isn't so bad. Never mind, it's bad. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, Eric, why? <laughs> Grace showed up. No, this is my very first time having uh, Gracie in here. Oh, no, I think you had to look cute. I mean, you know what? It's okay. Gracie's going to be proud of me, guys. I legit look like I don't have any hair under here. <laughs> oh, could I, Andrew? No, it's cool. I'll just- I'll do this. It's kind of funny. Uh, Matsuri, if you need to, yeah. Spilt nail varnish remover. Oh no, on your jeans? Gosh darn. I can s- I can smell that. Like, I- I know that smell. Somebody call Vogue. <laughs> Matt girl, I think I'm okay. I think I got everything, but thank you for the offer, though. It's got M. Hello. <laughs> no worries. Um. Okay. Are you guys, do you guys think I'm ready? Do I look pretty? I'm trusting you guys. Ready for your fashion check, darling? Alright, let's see. Don't you sound confident? Well, I happen to have a spare moment, so let's get started. It's time for Gracie's fashion check. <laughs> this outfit I can't, it screams help. <laughs> Cute as a button. You have one thing to do, dress according to that theme. Let's see if you manage to pull it off. First, we must step back and view the outfit as a whole. Does it meet my ex exorbitantly, I think I pronounced that correctly, high standards? It comes together well, of course, but it is a bit vanilla for you to wear all one theme. Listen. Don't judge me. You're the epitome of cute. I keep waiting for you to sprout wings. <laughs> I can tell you were listening when I gave you that theme because you completely nailed it. Tom, like yours deserves to be rewarded, don't you think? Okay. Ooh, princess sofa. Nice. I was gonna say, you guys, for anyone who watches Megan Crossing, she's amazing. Um... Her sub alert, I think, is from RuPaul's Drag Race, and like that's stuck in my head right now for this entire interaction. <laughs> I love it so much. Uh, it's good to know there's at least one person in town who isn't a complete fashion frump. But it's painfully obvious that my work here isn't done. At least I'm off to a good start. Tens, tens, tens across the board, yes! <laughs> Megan is great. See, she's like, oh, like, you know, I want to come over to your town, like, make sure that everyone isn't, you know, like, a disaster here. And then she only talks to us. I just want to point that out. Also, Nord King has it going, dude. <laughs> Gracie loves the toad hat. Well, you know what? I'm happy I had it. <laughs> Sofa in the pocket. Yes. Oh, Gaston, he's, he's like, on his way. He's on a mission. He was running. One out of four, yep. Hopefully we can catch her next week as well, because I think she comes once a week. And then uh, we get to upgrade our, our store for the final time. Okay. So this is this. And I wore these, yep. There we go, starting to look like myself. Um, we don't wear shoes here. Oh gosh, I removed my socks, that's awkward. We wear rainbow socks. There we go. And... 
There we go. That's a bit better. <laughs> I'm just gonna- this- this entire- like, I organized this and it just got messy again? Oh right, we got a lava lamp. <laughs> Sorry. Distracted. Lily, I did. I did. There we go. Okay, um, so I want to go see if Cyrus is willing to refurbish this for me, cause... Actually, what color does it start off with? If it's blue, I'm keeping it. You missed the toad hat already? <laughs> Maybe once in a while we'll wear the toad hat. Oh, Nikki Mouse, thank you! Um, do I have room downstairs? Batu, hello, how's it going? Ooh! Okay, apparently I expanded my basement area and I completely forgot that I did it. That's awesome. Um, and then there. Upper can go right there. Um, that's an ice cream lamp that can go there. Um, there we go. Does it start off red? I want it blue, so let's just check here. No, it's blue! That just makes me happy. That just makes me very happy. <laughs> Hot dog, Nintendo, yes. Alright, so the room is not done at all right yet, but it's okay. Purposing the lava lamp messed with my brain. Check the colors online before changing it or else a waste of time and money. Oh, is his are his questions about how to change it weird or or what happened? Okay. Um I guess we'll go talk to Nook, because apparently I upgraded my house at some time. I don't really remember doing that, but I guess I must have. Got the Wii U today in game. I can't wait to play Die. Very nice, very nice. I hope you enjoy it. Um, Lily, not at the moment, but it is full of sloppy furniture. That's pretty much all that's in there. So it is purple and it came out as like yellow. Then it's yellow and it came out purple. It's very strange. Oh. Oh, wait. I'm having like a flashback of someone else telling me this that the things are wrong or something like that. Oh my goodness. It's Crystal. It's so good to see you. Your edition is finished. Um, your home is much homier now. Okay, we can pay that. Got the hair playing hair. <laughs> Mike upgraded without telling you. I don't think he'd know how. Maybe. See, he pretends he doesn't listen to what I'm streaming and like Animal Crossing in general, but I'm pretty sure he's listening when I stream. Uh, Nikki Mouse, thank you so very much for the follow. <laughs> have an orange lava lamp IRL. I had a blue one when I was younger, so that's why I want it to be blue. Crystal's been lying again. <laughs> Philips Hue and Google Home. Ooh, is it like one of the lights that has like all these different colors to it? Or is it just like a normal light that you can turn on via your Google Home? Um, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go talk to a villager. Someone, anyone, Bob, there we go. There we go. He tells me to take a break. I don't want to take a break though. I want to go do the diving trick, but first I should probably actually find my villagers because we haven't spoken to Midge or Phoebe or Cube yet. <laughs> Dazzles do- do they still- I'm assuming they still sell them. Different lights and apps, that's cool. Villagers walked up to me and gave me a pear in my nail fruit. I'm so confused. They just all had it ready for you. Want to play but you have a headache. Well, maybe it's time to, like, you know, um, take some Advil or something. Have a lot of water, that might be the issue, and maybe turn off the screens for a little bit and then maybe in a little while you'll be able to play. 
Mom didn't want one. I always begged her every time we were at Walmart or Target. She was so annoyed by it. My dad wouldn't let me get- oh, Eric's in here. My dad wouldn't let me get, um, any or too many toys that, like, lit up or made too much noise because he got bothered by them. So I, I have strong memories of going into, like, a Toys R Us or a Walmart and begging for something and not getting it. <laughs> Especially light up shoes where you step and they light up. I wanted those really badly. I still want those really badly. <laughs> See if we can't find our villagers. Not in here. We see have several pairs. See, that's when I, if if and when I ever have children, hundred percent. If they ask for light up shoes, they're getting them because I would love them. Your Furby always turned on in the middle of the night. I had something. I'm assuming it was pretty common. There was a little line of electronic pets. Um, called Poochies. It was like a, a, a dog. Uh, a robot dog. Um, and it, uh, it, it didn't have an off switch. It just, it was always on. And the only way to get it to quiet down was if it was quiet around it, or if it was in like the dark or something like that. My dad's solution was to lock it in a drawer. <laughs> I was like six. I was traumatized. <laughs> but like, it would not turn off. It was, it like, I guess it had some sort of act, like, sensor on it so it could tell when there was movement. Yeah. <laughs> my dad didn't like those. And that what's even worse is my mom. Oh, there's Mitch. Uh, my mom bought that for me. She got me a blue one for Christmas. And then shortly after that, um, my birthday's in March. In March, um, a family friend got me a pink poochie without realizing that I already had a blue one. So there was two of them. <laughs> My dad was not happy. One of the small- oh, McDonald's! McDonald's did go through a, through a period of having uh, smaller versions of them, yes. Oh, you guys are- It came with a bone? Yes, it had like a little- a little bone that it would hold on to. Um, and I remember very distinctly with the McDonald's toys, they had like, there was like a bird, and there was a cat, and there was the, the main dog. <laughs> Mighty Owl, tell me about it. But yeah, my dad was... <laughs> he didn't quite think that one through. Take out the batteries and say the batteries die. See, that's, that's probably would have been smart, but... I don't think my dad had patience for any of that nonsense. <laughs> uh, Lily, you have to... Pay for it. I haven't got it myself. <laughs> and it would go off. Needless to say, my parents started turning it off at night after it scared. Oh, I don't blame her. Yeah, that would be scary. Um. Oh, what else was there? Do you guys remember when Beanie Babies were just like huge? And like again, McDonald's had Beanie Babies, and people were like hoarding. Happy Meal toys because they thought that they would go up in price or something like that. I don't remember why people thought that. I have- I still have one Beanie Baby. Her name is Mystic. <laughs> she still has her tag barely on. And she's a white unicorn with a pink sparkly horn. Um, I still have her because she is just so precious to me. She sits in the closet, she chills up on the top shelf. Um. I have a couple stuffed toys from when I was younger, but I just- they're up there and they, they stay there, they don't freak me out at night, because dolls lo legit low-key scare me these days. I'm missing... Phoebe. Arbok Burger King toy for 10 pounds, oh my god. Toy review with Crystal, it's- it just- it feels like a day for that. But yeah, um, this this Beanie Baby Mystic, she's one of the larger ones. She's not really tiny, so. Old time favorites, but I still have two huge tubs I gave to Goodwill. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Mm, I could put this downstairs. 
Toy Story 4? Yes, yes. I'm... I love, I love Toy Story. I thought it was great. I didn't enjoy it as a kid. I enjoyed it more as an adult, which is funny. Um, but the thing about it was I liked where 3 ended, so I'm probably not too interested in seeing the next one. Um... Tr Trinary? Trinary code? Trinary code? Am I saying your name right? Hello? I'm sorry if I butchered it. Welcome on in. Name was Scooter and I was traumatized. Oh no! <laughs> okay, that's a blue hydrangea, so we needed that. Mini from McDonald's not only had the big one. Oh. <laughs> Used to get a McDonald's Happy Meal just to get a beauty baby. Yeah, I, I was at like that perfect age for it where I wasn't like too old for a Happy Meal or whatever, so. Last time I moved here, not sure if my mother got rid of them before my siblings bought my other ones over. Almost 39? Oh, that's so cute. Then they dropped in value so much, I figured they were just collecting dust, better off making some kids happy instead. Exactly. Pepperoni, we are indeed. Uh, Nort fight. hello, how's it going? New Tamagotchi. Uh, oh, Tamagotchi. I was reading, I was thinking about Tamagotchi life. <laughs> um, I had a Tama I had a Tamagotchi and it was like pink and sparkly. It was cool. It wasn't like one of the original ones though. Oh, CC, I feel that. <laughs> I don't know, Harv. I don't know why everyone was like, oh, these are gonna, like, quadruple in price or whatever. No one's too old for a Happy Meal. I- you know what? Why am I selling? I don't want to sell these. I like to believe that, but at the same time, I'd be embarrassed to go up and ask for one if I didn't have a kid in tow with me. <laughs> Hi, kitty. How's it going? My, uh, my Tamagotchi was, a, I think, a Gen... Ooh, a Gen 3 one, I don't remember. Um, I would have had it in about 2004, 2005. And it had a... I don't remember the name. It was the... An IR band? No. It had the red band on top so that you could wirelessly connect to other people's Tamagotchis. And it was pretty hacking cool. <laughs> Macro. Um, Ball and Roses, hello, how's it going? You see, I distinctly remember going to school and making sure that my Tamagotchi was muted because they were banned, because I was a rebel. Um, and then every day at recess, I'd run over and make sure it was fed and it was all good. Yeah, one of those two, yeah. Cross a score bunny evolving to a fire fairy, and I'm flying over to Nintendo headquarters to force them to make it canon. I've seen a lot of uh, interpretations of what the starters could look like, and they look really, really good. Bad kid crystal. I th everyone had one. Every single person in my class had one. Guaranteed. There we go. Okay. Um, and then I also got that for downstairs. Everyone wanted to be made so they went up in price. Turned out to be a fab Pokemon card, so no different except they lasted. You know what, Norking? You just reminded me. There is a store here in Toronto that's fantastic. Mike and I like to go every couple months uh called a and c games and it's this really large retro game store but they also have a section dedicated to card games and stuff like that and they're they're just so awesome and so amazing mike and i sometimes will go over and we'll look at the cards like they have Yu-Gi-Oh cards they have magic gathering they have whatever type of cards including pokemon of course and the pokemon cards are some of them are so expensive and, like, usually it's because it's, like, a rare misprint or something, I think. It's so fascinating. I never kept any of my Pokemon cards, though. So. Oh, Trinity Code always. I feel that. <laughs> um, oh, Greninja. Yeah, the uh, order whatever they had challenge thing. Do my back. Yeah, it's a dangerous place. It's a dangerous place. <laughs> Um, CC, yeah, let me go ahead and do that. Also, for anyone who's just joining us, I'm sorry if you're just kind of... This one? Is this the one you meant? 
there's these ones above as well. Um, for anyone who's just joining us, we were just talking about kind of like nostalgic toys from our childhood. We were talking about poochies and Beanie Babies and tam Tamagotchis. I almost, I always want to say Tamadachi. Oh gosh, no, don't keep it on that. Cruising. Cruising is where it's at. <laughs> kind of jazzy, never mind. Okay, okay no worries, sorry. Yeah, Andrew, this is probably my favorite hairstyle out of them all, um, followed closely by the ponytail one, but I'm gonna keep this as my permanent one. At least for the next couple months. Ooh, it stopped raining. Okay. One of your favorite 3DS games? You know what? I enjoy watching people play it, but I don't think it would hold my attention for too long. Which is unfortunate. She makes me nervous. <laughs> Um, so I just need to put a blue one here. I might have actually made a mistake. This one on the end might die. Let's see here. This is probably too many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. This one on the end is gonna have to go. Sorry, my friend. Breathing, sleeping pets, that's it, they breathe. They didn't do anything else and I love them. Oh gosh. I I think I've told this story on stream before. But when I was maybe six or seven, I went through a phase of being absolutely in love with this one specific sort of plush toy and it was these cats, these plush toy cats and they were fluffy little kittens. And they were the type that when you move them, they had like a rattle or something in them, so it sounded like they were purring. And I think my mom fell in love with them too, because she said that they had take me home eyes. They were just these massive sad eyes. And I love them. I had, I think, most of them. I had one in particular that I was in love with, that was my favorite, that went everywhere with me. And then, well, you know, I got older and I was cleaning out my room, I want to say like maybe four or five years ago. And so I was about 20. I didn't want them anymore, um, and I went to put them downstairs where we kind of like put stuff down to donate, right? Um, my apartment building has a section to do that, it's like this bin. And this was a heavy bag full of stuffed toys, including these cats. And um, I'll never forget, <laughs> I, I was 100% fine, I was fine putting them in the bag, I was fine walking them downstairs. And then I got downstairs and I threw the bag into the bin because it was like a heavy bag. And I heard all of them purr in unison as the bag went over into the bin and I nearly broke down. I'm like, that is the saddest thing I've ever heard in my life. Oh, Gamer Girl, thank you so much. How are you doing? <laughs> oh gosh, I'm sorry for the tangent, but like, my mom laughed. She thought it was the funniest thing that it just suddenly broke me. <laughs> For real kittens, it was a button that makes it move, so when you pet it and push the button down, it meows. Ooh, that's fancy. <laughs> but yeah, I loved those kittens. There was like a calico, there was a black one, there was a white one, there was a ginger cat one, like there were so many different types. And I really hope that they got good homes because of those cats. <laughs> Two sad sand puppies that I never liked because they looked so sad and I hated it. I think I just... I think that was the point of these ones, was to make you feel bad at the store. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the diving trick here, you guys. It was funny, though. Oh! Message in the map? I did! It's not, like, perfect. I don't- oh gosh, darn it. I don't really like it. Um, it's not quite what I wanted, but it doesn't look that bad. Rats. I remember those. Those were... I was I was at a good age for them. I was just kind of not really interested in dolls at that age. I was, and still am, very much a tomboy. Wasn't very interested. Alright. Oh gosh, I forgot my diving suit. <laughs> Whoops. Have them except for once. Hard to find online. Um, oh, Overworks Project? Oh, 
No, but thank you. I don't mind flannel. <laughs> they didn't have feet if you took- did they not? I only- I don't even think I had any. I think I just, like, knew of them from my friends. Webkins. I, again, I knew of them. I didn't- I don't think I was around the age or around the interest level for them. <laughs> Little stubs attached to the shoes. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> that's a little bit weird. Okay. Oh! Suddenly pink. <laughs> I forgot we got the pink diving suit. Brat's boy for Halloween every year. That's adorable. I went as Hermione Granger from Harry Potter about five times <laughs> in a row. <laughs> Oh, Gamer really? That wouldn't really surprise me too much. They're different enough for them to not really get caught for anything like that, but... Polly Pocket Dolls. I didn't have very many of those, but I know of them for sure. There we go. Okay, so it is currently 3.08 in my game, at least. Um, so we're gonna wait here until, like... 3.15? Maybe? Oh, Katie, I don't think I will. I don't think I will. I recently got a new Eggman jacket that's like a diluted rainbow, which I really like the look of. So, unless I find a really nice summer outfit, which Pepper was looking for, um, I might just stick in it. We'll see. That's Tiger. He's good. He's good. Ooh, red arrow. Very nice. I hope you enjoy your meal. What else was theirs? What else was theirs, a kid? Um, Al Bundy, it's essentially for suggesting public works projects or, incre or increasing the um, chance of them being suggested. It's okay, Pepper. Uh, Lily, my switch is good. <laughs> kind of fresh. Uh, kind of disturbing. Love them. At the same time, I feel like I'm too old to play with them. My mom used to love playing with uh, Legos with me. And, uh, she also had these, like, wooden train track sets, and, like, my dad got me a little train car that had a, a, um, not a battery, what's the word? Um, a magnet on the back, so it would attach to other train cars, and it would, like, go around the tracks that we build. It was fun. It was fun. My mom is really good with like building stuff like that. Really, she was. She's she's slowing down a bit now due to arthritis and stuff like that. But Game Boy Advance SP nostalgia, very nice. Do you have any games to go with them still? My fiance and I live together now. You can steal his switch. Heck yeah. <laughs> uh, never come out of the overall dress until winter. I wear the green argyle sweater and green plaid pants. Always in yellow rain boots, though? Yeah, I feel that. I tend to stick to my style. <laughs> jellyfish are ruthless today. Yes, but we now know the trick to avoiding the jellyfish. And that is to shrunk shuffle at the right time. <laughs> Dark Phoenix and today, people are blasting at the Harry Potter theme on a xylophone in a room nearby. <laughs> That's a weird thing to play, but I, I accept that. That's cool. Best hacks. Something that we learned very, very recently. <laughs> and it prevents you guys from having to, like, listen to my character freaking out after they get stung. Furby. Because I had two of my dad and he accidentally bought her one that wasn't English and it was so funny. Wait, I didn't know Furby spoke any language. I, I've not had one. Um, even as a kid I knew that they were potentially evil. Um, so I avoided them. So that to see how they work and how they evolve. People tell me I'm too old for that, but I don't care. As long as you're not hurting anyone and you're enjoying what you enjoy to do. And you're not forcing it down anyone's throat. That's like the main thing. Can you do other emotes? I prob- Ooh, I didn't see that one coming. You probably can, but I think the shrunk shuffle lasts the longest, which is why it works. Bob isn't the only one with hacks. Okay, see, now there's another one. Let me see if I can... Ah, oh, see, it's it's the timing. Okay, 
Mark is the most powerful when he's shuffling. Nobody can beat him, Sam. The spinny one? Can I spin in the water? Was that the spinny one? I think that was the spinny one. You just don't spin. Nostalgia section of the Discord. Legit, you guys, I will spend hours on the uh, nostalgia subreddit just looking through there. Because, like, some of it is stuff that, like, I might not remember, but stuff that, like, oh, I pressed too late, that Mike remembers, for example. Like, we, a, a lot of time we grew up with a lot of the same stuff, even though he's about five years ahead of me, but, like, uh, the 90s had a lot of rehashes. <laughs> Let me see if I can hit it this time. Why am I swimming in the corner? That's a good question. This is called the diving trick. So I'm trying to influence villagers to suggest public works projects. Um, essentially, I'm resetting the town by being as far away as possible and not in any direct eye contact with any villagers. Um, it's kind of weird looking, <laughs> but it works. No, Mary.com, that's scary. I <laughs> can't do it. Ethan, very nice. Congrats on getting the roost. Oh gosh, there we go. I pressed it too late. <laughs> uh, Gamer Girl, it, you, I prefer to stay for longer, so I prefer like six to eight minutes. And people are like, oh, you can stay for five minutes and then you can go back. Um, the only thing you have to do is you have to make sure that your pockets are full of nothing but, like, flowers or tools or something that villagers will never, ever, ever ask to trade or, um, buy or sell from you. But, uh, the issue is when they ping you, they might ask for something other than a public works project. They might ask for a nickname or, like, something that doesn't involve a trade, essentially. Um, so sometimes it takes a little while. Uh, Lily, which- which one do you mean? Which one do you mean? I need to write this stuff down. <laughs> they could also ask to move out. We actually had Blue Bear ask earlier. So thankfully we're in the clear for that. Um, they could ask to change nickname, greeting, catchphrase, anything like that. Uh, Brooke, I'd really like the windmill. I'd like um, some more of the fairy tale public works projects. I'd like a certain bench. Um, I'd like the wood bridge. <laughs> There's a lot that I'd want. Yeah, they can also ask you weird questions, like Andrew just said, just like random small talk questions. Oh, the Breaking Hell, you know what? I think they ask to move out once or twice a week, randomly. I don't think it's necessarily um, set in stone who's going to ask every time. Trying to get the bus stop. It's a good chance to get it doing this. <laughs> Dagger. <laughs> Mr. Space Cake, hello, how's it going? Welcome on in. Nuslink could not save Hyrule as Epona was not allowed to leave. <laughs> it's like next time I'm playing Ocarina of Time on Monday and I call Epona and she just doesn't show up. Uh, I'm not going to pronounce this like, I think, thick, thick of course. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but the Wisteria Trails is really, really nice. Um, I'm really happy I got in my town very early on. Okay. I think we've been here for enough time. So it's probably going to be the verse, first villager who actually, like, lays eyes on me. <laughs> Amber Meow, I love that. Okay, so I don't know where my villagers are. Astrid is up here. Let's see if she'll do it. Oh, no, Blue Bear. <laughs> I'm so not speaking terms with my mirror because you tell me I'm totally sauce today, right? See, that's one of the things I could say. Yawn, stylish, Blue Bear. Now give me a public works project. 
Baby, where are you? I don't think- I haven't seen Phoebe today. And we're going back. <laughs> I had suggested me one day by Muffy and I was like, ooh, cool, I'll do it. And then I saw it was like, yeah, it's, it's a lot of bells. It's expensive. There we go. Yeah, Tudor. I'm actually- it's growing on me, I'm not gonna lie. Was Phoebe at the Able Sisters? Jumping in the water. Um, you know what? Oh my gosh, whoops. You know what? I'm not exactly sure when this was... If this has been a thing since the beginning, or if this was something that they kind of did in Welcome Amoeba. I have a feeling it's been for a while. Ooh, also... Guys, John... Brooke, thank you very much for the biddies. There's my alert. That took a second to pop up. Thank you. On conference in about... Is it two hours? I thought it was later tonight for some reason. Bless me, Bells, usually I just catch a bunch of golden stags and sell them. Um, that's generally my preferred way if I'm actually trying to. Usually I make quite a decent amount just from, like, selling fossils every day and stuff like that. Yeah, Tudor, same here. <laughs> thought I was jumping on the ground? No, thankfully not. <laughs> thankfully you can't jump off uh, if there isn't water right below you. Oh. I moved it by accident. Uh, after chopping down everything, it's not fun. Yeah. Oh, actually, now that it's not raining, I could potentially try and do the Blue Rose public- not public works project, sorry, the Blue Rose, um... Breeding. Hybrid breeding today. <laughs> Favorite color? Um, light blue? Light blue, probably. You can't really see because it's very, very uh, bright in the background, but um, my walls are light blue. Um, my chair has dark blue on it. I just like blue in general, I think. But yeah, that grandma with the, uh, the Animal Crossing town, that's pretty cool. That makes me happy. I'm glad so many different people from, you know, children to People who are older can enjoy this series. If not for the life of you, grow blue roses. Yeah, I haven't had any town, any sorry, any luck in this town yet. But I'm hoping, like you know, maybe a little later on. Been a while since we did flower breeding. Well, we've been doing like passive flower breeding for pink and orange lilies and pink orange and purple roses and we've got quite a few but i kind of want some blue because that area around blue bear's house i'm trying to put blue there and it's i don't have any so <laughs> gamer girl a lot of people probably misread that when they first come into this chat yeah cc oh gosh i moved it again um I don't really know anyone IRL anymore who plays Animal Crossing Leaf, and I didn't know anyone for a really long time who did either. Um, pretty much everyone who I know who plays is online, so... There we go. Suddenly really feel like eating McDonald's. What are you gonna get if you do? Actually, question of the day, you guys. What is your go-to order from McDonald's? Bounce off the jellyfish. Oh gosh, I might sneeze here. If I suddenly mute myself, you guys know why. I was going away. That's so frustrating. Gosh darn it. Random. Yeah, you know what? I heard about that in Hyrule's Hyrulean stream earlier this morning. He... Was it Hyrulean? I think it was. Um... I heard that Mario Maker 2 is going to have, like, you can play with people online, but it's, like, random people. No offense, random. It's not, like, anyone. Or, like, not your friends, I guess. McNuggets. Is it at six? So it's, like, three hours away, then. Unless you're saying six your time. You're seeing a lot of chicken. That's fascinating. Very nice. Big Max, very nice. Flayo fish. I never. A I know Mike likes fish. I just never asked him if he likes those. <gasps> oh 
My name, oh, that's fine. That's honestly, that's good for you. Is there any other fast food that you like or do you do just not like the greasiness? Ooh, Legend Sling, very nice. With the McFlurry, what type of McFlurry though? I'm partial to the Oreo. Um, I would like the Smarty if it wasn't so darn crunchy. More of a Taco Bell person these days. I can feel that. I can feel that. Two plain cheeseburgers. Mike and I used to love to order like those little cheeseburgers and then just dress them like Big Macs, which is the best thing in the world. Um, but they don't let us do that anymore, which is sad. At least on the kiosk. I don't know about going up to them in person. They probably would. Chicken nuggets. A moment chicken or Big Mac with bacon. But that was six years ago. I haven't been there since. Again, that's probably really good. Or what for is best? It is. Not buying the game, so I won't be playing with this rant. <laughs> Chick-fil-A. I see. I see. Need to a revolving sushi bar? No. Um... I have supposed uh, seafood allergies. We're not quite sure the pure extent of it, but all we know is that bad things happen when I eat seafood. So I have been to sushi places, um, but it was it was a very big deal to make sure that I didn't eat anything that could potentially hurt me. So usually we don't go. Arrow bubble. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, Chick-fil-A is a little bit controversial. <laughs> White Castle. Don't like onions and pickles, but they put on every burger. I don't think I've ever had it. Oh, <laughs> we saw Jerry. How's it going? Now you want bubble tea? Ooh, that's always good. He used to buy a game where Luigi doesn't get his name in the title. Is that why you bought Ouija Kart? <laughs> okay, I think we've been here for long enough. Let's go see. Oh, Abbey Crossing, really? I mean, again, that's probably good. It's okay, Padfoot. Mint Oreo McFlurry, it's my destiny. Okay, ever since I had the mint, minty shamrock shake from McDonald's, I've... I don't know about mint anymore. <laughs> Maltese or McFlurry? I don't think we got that here, but Mike would probably love it. Oh, <gasps> ping me hi! I like mac and cheese. How dare you though, Gaston? Love you. Ugh. <laughs> Gamer girl, I love that. I love the Harry Potter references. I loves my life. You know what? When Mike and I had it, it was legitimately like drinking toothpaste and it was disgusting. But maybe that was just the place that we went to. Um, essentially it was overly minty. And like when I first saw the shamrock shake and I saw it was green, I'm like, okay, they're going to use like a little bit of green food coloring and it's going to be vanilla. But then we tasted it and it was toothpaste. <laughs> Just started to introduce more vegetarian products into their menu, and next McDonald's too far, just go to see there. You know what? I don't know if the McDonald's here has anything veggie. I know A&W has, like, the Beyond Meat Burger, which I plan to try when Mike comes over this Thursday, because I've been threatening it for a while. Um, but I don't think our McDonald's has any, like, purely vegetarian options. Uh-oh. Whoop. I was trying too late. Everyone loves cold toothpaste. It was- and Mike got- like, Mike- Mike is the type of guy where, like, if you hand him something and I, I'll be like, here, I don't like this, he'll drink all of it or he'll eat all of it because he doesn't want to waste it. He ended up getting sick, his teeth turned green. <laughs> it was- gosh darn it, it was a little bit bad. Oh, breaking hell, like, see, I don't think we got that here, but Mike would love it. Forget how bad it actually is. That's kind of- I'm not gonna lie, this might be slightly controversial. That is me with eggnog. I don't- I don't like it. I can't drink it in more than, like, a shot glass. Cause it's- ew. <laughs> and I only have it once a year. Oh, Gamer Girl, yeah, Mike- Mike and I also, we're- we're so bad about this. We just order extortion amounts from Taco Bell. And like that- that'll be our meal for, like, the lot next little while. 
Tropic berry flavored Sprite. Ooh, I don't think we got that here either, but I will try that if I see it. Meal that McDonald's has. Southwest salad without chicken. Okay. Ooh, Duddles. This is fascinating. That's cool. Eating Domino's this week. Or Domino's is completely different in different countries. Like in the UK, it's the best pizza and it's expensive. I think it's more expensive here than what like our usual pizza place is, but um, I don't really know very much about it. Tastes better? Yeah, it's weird. It's it's a strange drink to me. Caspot, hello! Warmed up. I haven't tried it warmed up eggnog either. Like liquid bubble gum? Yeah, it's- it, ugh. <laughs> I don't like that taste. Oh, you just reminded me of a cough syrup I had as a child. <laughs> Maltese is a European thing. Okay, that's that's probably why then. Well, food talk. I'm going to get a bagel. That sounds like an idea. Sounds like an idea. Cynical, hello. How are you doing? Welcome on in. Oh my gosh. We're talking about food. We're doing the diving trick. We're also talking about nostalgic toys when we're... Younger. Diving trick chat. So I'm glad you guys appreciate this. I know it's maybe not the most entertaining thing to like sit here and watch, but at the same time, it gives me a lot more time to focus on you guys rather than focus on the gameplay. Lukewarm or ice cold? Um, when I had teeth issues, lukewarm. <laughs> now that I don't, probably ice cold. Instagram rainbow bagels and I loved it. I don't think I've I don't think I know that. <laughs> Vision is killing you. I feel that. I feel that. I'm doing okay. Yep, Abbey Crossing, exact same here. <laughs> exact same. Uh Bree Berries, thank you so very much for the host. Much appreciated. How are you doing? You can Chiris oven French fries and cold soft dinner and then Cold cocoa and cake for just cold cocoa. This fascinates me. I like this idea though. That all sounds really good. <laughs> uh, Pearl Maiden, hello. How are you doing today? Welcome on in. And there we go. Our town has one constantly gets updated and the other looks. Oh, and looks extremely modern. The other looks like it hasn't been updated in 10 years. That's really awkward. Just got back from the Cracker Barrel. What do you have? Um, we we have that here, yeah. Pineapple and pizza. I say yes. I say no. <laughs> I say very much so no. Oh, Mac Girl, very nice. Still user cutie. Uh, Lily, I played The Sims 3 pretty much all morning. <laughs> Instead of doing what I was meant to be doing. Oh, Breaking Hell, I'm sorry. We probably shouldn't be talking about food if you're trying not to order stuff. Don't like pizza in general? That's fascinating. That's fascinating. I guess it's fair. Um, There's probably a lot of things I don't like that other people love. Thinking about reinstalling it? Gosh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's unfortunate that it's apparently really poorly optimized and it doesn't really run well, even on newer computers, but... No worries, DreamNet. We'll see ya. Please, more food talk. <laughs> oh my god, the pizza also has ham on it. I mean, I think those generally go together, yes. I personally, like, I like pineapple by itself, but not, not on pizza. Not, not there. You have late night so fun? No, um... With The Sims 2, I installed a whole, I, I pretty much had every single expansion pack after a little while. Um, and that really slowed down my game. So with The Sims 3, I only have Seasons, Pets, Adventures, and I think it's called Ambitions? Mike got me that one. I don't really know very much about it. Um, so those are the ones I got. <laughs> Breaking Hell, you started the- you started the, uh, food talk. Caspot, um, we got Gracie today, so that was cool. We passed our first fashion check. Um, we're currently trying to get a public works project. No worries, Strawberry. We'll see you. Set avocado toast, and I feel so basic. I love avocado. <laughs> oh, 
only go with barbecue sauce. You know what? I My mom thinks it's gross to put uh, barbecue sauce on pizza, and I'm like, no. No, it's amazing. But, like, Mike drizzles it on everywhere. I like to dip it so that I have, like, control over how much is on each bite. Okay. That had better not been thunder, I swear. <laughs> if I suddenly go offline, guys, assume my power has gone out. Where's my bunny? I see Astrid. Astrid, do you have a public works project? <gasps> Hello. Third time's the charm? No, she wants to talk to me about unidentified flying objects. <laughs> Spot them after midnight. The UFOs come out late. Oranges. Unidentified oranges. <laughs> All over my floor. <laughs> unidentified floor oranges. <laughs> Ryan, hello. How's it going? Oh, I'm not sorry. That is a good pizza. That was loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm hoping that was just a truck outside and not thunder. Because that will not be fun. Can't deal when someone puts sauce all over fries. At least Mike and I agree that dipping fries is the best way to go with that. Grand, hello. How's it going? Um, favorite conversation with Steamville just cracks me up. I That one is pretty funny. <laughs> Are there several of the of the same dialogue? Or the same topic? Swallowed wrong, had a bit of a cough. Oh, I hate doing that. That's <laughs> so frustrating. Sauce on your fries, you're a monster. Well, let's not judge. Unless you like pineapple on pa I'm joking, kind of. Um, no. Yeah, Matt girl, I'm, that's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> I'm waiting for the of, of the power going off. About poutine, oh my goodness. Mm. I like cheese, I like fries. I'm cool with gravy, gosh darn it. Uh, Pancake buns, thank you so very much for the follow. Welcome on in here. Chili cheese fries, ooh. Okay, that that's an exception right there. Oh, oh gosh. I keep looking over at chat and not looking at the jellyfish coming from my bum. Gosh darn it. <laughs> so boring you don't like sauces. That's fair. <laughs> Pancake buns, yes. We kind of worship Bob maybe a little bit too much here, but welcome on in. How are you doing? Uh, Abby Crossing, yes. <laughs> Don't like savory sauce. So, question: Would you consider ketchup to be savory? Because there's a lot of sugar in ketchup. Or is that still in that realm of like that savory? <laughs> Ryan, eyes have him uh, in your games. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Um, how long have you been playing? If you don't mind my asking, that's actually a good question. Actually, you guys. What was your first Animal Crossing game that you started off with? Because I know a lot of people started with New Leaf, which is cool. Um, I know, I think, more people who started with City Folk, which is interesting to me. Favorite cereal? Probably Honey Nut Cheerios. I'm going to be boring and say that. Wild World? Okay, so there's some Wild Worlds in here. Also played Emulations the original. Yes, yeah. That's the one I started on GameCube. Um, moved up to Wild World. I haven't played very much of City Folk, so I'm sorry about that. I know a little bit about it, and then I was on to New Leaf. New Leaf and I have no idea about how I found out about Animal Crossing in the first place. I know my mom bought the game for me on a whim. She saw it was Nintendo, she saw it had animals in it, and she's like, this will probably be good enough. Um, <laughs> They've done proceed, proceed to buy every game in the series. Very nice. For the new Switch one. I'm hoping that we get some news on that in the next week or I guess two weeks with the uh, E3. After the Welcome Amiibo update. There's a lot of people who joined after uh, that update as well. Because I know it brought a lot of people back in. A lot of, it, like, you know, was advertised so it brought new people in. Well, does she know what she started? She's still- she's somewhat amused by the fact that I'm now streaming full-time. 
with this game. <laughs> For like eight years consistently. Yeah, I, it's so funny because my memories of Wild World, in my head, I remember it looking so much like the GameCube version and I couldn't believe it. And it was so cool. And now whenever, if I go back and look at it or I pick it up, it, it doesn't look anything like it. <laughs> Magical Rooney, uh, City Folk, I used to play it a lot when I visited my sister at college on her Wii, then I bought her Wii off her and played City Folk constantly. Very nice. First one, Andrew, first one. What happens if we don't see a DD3? I'm going to assume it's delayed until next year. <laughs> that would be my assumption, but maybe they'll mention it. Camilla Ness, welcome back, how are you doing? Do, 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 oh gosh. <laughs> uh... Land Network, hello! Wild World was your first. I still have heartbreak from my sister raced. Oh no, that hurts my heart. I'm sorry to hear that. Also hurts your neck looking down all the time. I mean, you know, technically we're still looking down on the 3DS. It's just, it's a bigger screen. Action replay, very nice. I never ever had any of those, ever. I was fascinated by them though. Watching the Hamcross and GameCube commercials, they were really scary. <laughs> they had some weird figures in them. It took you years to figure out that there was a cafe. I remember hanging out with Brewster a lot, and I didn't realize that if you told him that you wanted your coffee to cool, he didn't like you as much. The situation. <laughs> well, Pancake Buns, thank you so much for coming on by, for dropping the follow. Uh, hope to see you again later. It just it's less than the observatory. Yes, I remember liking that as well. I remember being really bad at the constellations. How long have I been sitting here? Should I move now? Are we good? Oh, we're probably good. Oh, Tudor, very nice. I hope you enjoy yourself. I'm gonna hope that I'm good now. <laughs> I don't know how long I've been sitting there. Or swimming, treading water. Okay, if we don't get anything this time, I might switch over to some Desert Island Escape. Because I think we're on, what, the ninth or 10th one? Okay, um, Gaston? Buddy. <gasps> Hi, Public Works Project, though. <laughs> Please? Gosh darn it. Okay. It's fine, you can call me that. I love you. But seriously, though, Public Works Project, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe one day? Oh, my villagers don't love me. <laughs> Little but hello. Oh gosh, I should put these back. Pepper, what, what, were, you, what were you nomin' on? What public project do you want? Um, at this point, any. <laughs> no, um, I really want a wooden bridge. There's a certain bench that I want. I'd like the windmill. Um, oh gosh, what else? Picnic blanket, statue fountain. There's a whole lot that I could have that I just don't. How do you go about game play coins? Um, so there's two ways to do it. Um, the way you're intended to do it is to bring your 3DS out with you when you go outside. Like put it in a pocket, put it in your bag or whatever. Um, and just leave it in sleep mode and it'll get play coins. Um, the other way would be to... I'm sorry if you guys are hearing buzzing in the background. Um, the other way would be to shake your 3DS up and down. <laughs> Cause I see a lot of people in here do that. No shame. Oh, very nice, Pepper. I'll just shake my 3DS. Shaking it was the way. I used to just bring it to college with me and I got enough play coins just fine. Alright, let's go ahead and play some Desert Island Escape, you guys. If you guys are new here and you have no clue what that means, please do let us know. <laughs> Bagels are such underdogs. I, personally, if you offer me the choice of toast or a bagel, I will always choose a bagel. Excuse you. There we go. Jeez. <laughs> no, Gamer Girl, we didn't, unfortunately. I got- I did it four times and no one gave me anything, so I gave up. <laughs> Alright, so, we're on to the ninth course. 
And I'm scared. <laughs> um, Ducky Fluff with the two month prime reset. Thank you so very much for that. I hope you enjoy the. Gosh, my stream deck's been turned around. I hope you enjoy the emotes. Um, I hope I can get some new ones out to you guys shortly. But thank you so very much for the support. There we go. There's my. There's my love. Okay. Um, so this was our team last time, and they were actually pretty good together, so I'm probably just gonna stick with these guys. If you guys are curious how I have them, um, amiibo cards. <laughs> None of these guys are currently in my town. Okay, and once again, for anyone who does not know what Desert Island Escape is, it's essentially a mini-game that was introduced in, um, the welcome amiibo update and you can access it through the wii u item in game and it is really fun <laughs> we play it probably a little bit too much here okay, we got a stick sticks are good and the basic premise of the game is to keep your villagers safe and fed while you explore around an island and look for materials to make a raft to escape within a certain amount of days um a house, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome on in. Welcome on in, thank you so much for uh, coming on by. I wanna get Shep so bad maybe one day. Shep is, he's great. He's hes one of my favorites uh, for smug villagers. He's a sweetheart. How do you get Puzzle League? Um, it's the same way, It's it's either through scanning in an amiibo figure and going and buying the 3DS item from their RV or from um, getting it randomly from fortune cookies. Blue and yellow. <laughs> Trapped on a desert island, do you have to escape? Mind blown. <laughs> have I seen the pigeon version? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, well, there's nowhere we can really go here, so. My village is a lot of your dreamies. See, most of mine are lazies. I, I have a soft spot for my lazy boys. I don't know why. <laughs> Andrew, for sure, feel free. But neither of those are honey, which makes me nervous. Okay, that's a pitfall. That's great. <laughs> I'm a fan, hello! Um, we did our dailies. Oh, you have a really bad chance of getting out of that pitfall. Um, but he did it anyway. <laughs> uh, we did our dailies, we did our very first fashion check and we passed, and then we did the diving trick for a little bit and we didn't get anything. Hack the Wii U and DS Vans because I don't have the amiibo figures. And you don't take it- yeah. Yeah, I know for some people they're a little bit frustrating to get. Brooke, that sounds so bad, but I know what you mean. <laughs> um, okay, so we have the option to make a fishing rod right now. I'm not too fussed about that, honestly. I don't think we need one, so I'm gonna leave it. There's an Uchis, even though I can't stand the type of people generally. IRL, I'm weird. <laughs> Snooze and Uchis have to be lower down on my favorite list, for sure. Sorry, you guys, I'm getting a message right now. Okay, we got medicine. That's always good. And... I'm getting more messages. What is wrong? Well, my phone's not loading it, so it's fine. <laughs> Leak had like a lot of region and the roots and stuff, and apparently there'll be a lot of surfing. That's fascinating. Could you send that? I'm just curious. In the in the Discord, if you're if you're in it. Oh, we found honey. That's great. Budweiser, hello. We played Payday to instead of Animal Crossing. Well, that's quite a broad range there, but I hope you enjoyed yourself. What's the hat? You mean on the villagers or on me? Hi, <laughs> Nintendo Modder. How's it going? I'm sorry you had a stressful day. Um. We'll head over here. Okay, those are good. On me? This is a Kingdom Hearts hat. 7.8 out of 10 region going by leaks. Really, BC, thank you so much for the host. 
no worries, Caspot. Alright, let's see. Is this gonna be an enemy? Figured it would be. Um, I'm gonna run because I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this situation at all. Oh gosh. Oh, at least we just picked up medicine, right? Let's go get honey with you first. Answer your question about ketchup from earlier. I think of it as a savory sauce. I judge it as whether or not I would put it on a waffle. Yes, like caramel or chocolate sauce, then it's sweet. If no, like ketchup or barbecue, then it's savory. Okay, that's an interesting way to look at it. I like that. Okay, we got four. That's not so bad. Fan, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't read any of it. Um, is it a series you would recommend? Maybe it's one you're rereading. Ah, oh, Brooke, you know what? I'm not sure about which one is worse, honestly. I remember in Stardew there's a difference, but at least I heard there was. Ketchup on rice is the best. I can't say I've tried that. I, I do like rice quite a bit. Uh, but Elena, how are you doing today? Hope you're having a good one. Um. Oh, I have something. <laughs> Fun fact about me, I'm very picky about food and I have a lot of food allergies, so there's a lot of foods I have not tried before. I tried sriracha sauce for the first time this morning <laughs> and I didn't mind it. It was actually pretty good. Just accept and not do it, but don't take my word for it. Okay. Gamer girl, no, it's open to pretty much anyone. Um, as long as you, you know, promise to be PG-13 respectful and we don't have to kick you out, we're all good. <laughs> my biggest fear. Oh gosh. Okay, so there's. I forget the exact name of it. There's an allergy. I have um, seasonal allergies, um, and there is a food allergy that's linked to that. So whenever I eat raw fruits or veggies. My entire mouth gets itchy, my gums get itchy, my tongue gets itchy, and it's terrible. Um, there's also... Gosh, what was... There's the seafood allergies, which are not... We are not 100% sure what exactly I'm allergic to in that range. Um, and then just seasonal allergies, which suck, but it's okay. Mayo, sriracha, see, oh, that's interesting. Really, BC, yeah? Yeah, Matsuri, yeah. So for me, it's any raw fruit or vegetable. The second it's cooked or steamed or something like that is probably fine. But I still eat them anyway because you're not going to get me away from strawberries or watermelons or things that I like. Abby Crossing. I hope you guys have a good walk. Okay, that's cherries. It's because it drives her. Is there anything with fur? So most pets are the question, though I want a bird. I wonder, I wonder if a bird would be okay. I've unfortunately in the last year or so developed an allergy to my cats, which sucks because I've lived with cats my entire life. Um, but it's it's so, it's just like a minor skin irritation, right? So I'm not gonna do too much about it. Yeah, Flatista. There's a name for it. I don't remember what it is. <laughs> I never remember. Oh gosh, I don't like this. this. These could be enemies. Okay, no, that's a bee. That's good. Baby parking, yet people still make me go there. Oh, random. Is Tiger in your room? No. He doesn't come in here when I record anymore because he will get very frustrated when I don't give him all the attention. Ooh, Miss Gadden, very nice. I hope you enjoy your food. Um, 
Okay, I'm gonna sneak across into here, because I want to see what's... If I don't fall into pitfall, I want to see what's over there. You know what, Gamer Girl? I can't say I played Mario Party 7. Oh no! <laughs> I've played 4, 5, 6, I think. Those were on the GameCube, I think. And then the most recent one on Switch. <laughs> Color your breakout in hives. Yeah, it's frustrating because I've I've never had an issue until now. How old? Um, Tiger is turning seventeen this year, and Kiara is eleven or twelve. I forget my own cat's age. <laughs> I'm just brought you mac and cheese. Heck yeah. I just did say to Gaston earlier if I had to pick between uh, spaghetti and macaroni and cheese, I would pick mac and cheese all the time. <laughs> I think. Okay, I figured that was gonna be a log. So that's great. Okay. I'm hoping that's not anything we need. I'm hoping that's not anything we need either. I'm just gonna go up here. There's lots of stones on this island, so I think um, Elvis is a really good pick here. Oh, uh, I have definitely Marty. I honestly think Marty's just, he's adorable. <laughs> I don't have really any interest in these Sanrio amiibos, but he's the only one if I could have him, I would. I'm concerned because Shep didn't recognize this this space. Oh yes. <laughs> okay. Uh I don't wanna die. Mm, no, Shep. We don't have any medicine, buddy. You done messed up. Just got your yearbook, that's really cool. Are you guys I guess I guess people still sign yearbooks, right? Okay, you know what? We're gonna be sneaky and we're going around. <laughs> okay. I'm worried this might be an enemy as well, but no, it's a bit. <laughs> I'm dying. Yeah, I am. <laughs> it's true, Matt Girl. It's true. There we go. Thank goodness. <laughs> I really want this stone because I can make a slingshot and then we can get through these enemies a bit better. Okay, so you get the honey. Cobalt, hello, welcome back. How are you doing? Reading Pokemon leaks. I don't think I'm gonna actually look into it too much. I kind of want to be like, you know, surprised and and I want them to sell it to me essentially during the direct because that's what those are for, right? Second log. Okay, that's actually not bad. We're, we're we just need two more items. We can do this potentially. We have four days left of food. I think we're doing okay. Look at us go, you guys. Look at us. Oh gosh. Sorry, I just realized how much is down here. Um, I'm. I'm gonna go here. <laughs> School ends next week. Not this. Oh, that's really early to give it to you then. Yeah. The Animal Crossing was made on Unreal Engine. Oh, that'd be really realistic. I don't know how I feel about that. Look at us go! That emote Jimbo is beautiful! <laughs> Whose emote is that way? Oh my god! <laughs> I need that in my life. New bitch, hello, welcome back! Oh no, Shep is- Shep isn't feeling well, this is ba this is actually really bad. Hmm? 
island looks like trouble. I'm hoping that we can swoop around and that there's a way to access the island, but... There we go. I'll look for them to get me excited for the game, plus most of the time they're... That's the other reason why I don't want to look, because what if I see something that I really like the idea of, and then it's not real? <laughs> Le leaves? I think it's fruit surrounded by leaves. I don't know why they did that, honestly. That was a car-sized scorpion. Shep is, Shep is tough. Shep's tough. Yeah, not to bloom. Tell me about it. E3 is like right around the corner, and I've been waiting. I guess we've been waiting for months. <laughs> okay, there's more food. Lily, yes, it is right. <laughs> oh my god, Jimbo. Those emotes are everything. I kind I I must go check out this channel now. <laughs> okay. So this area is open now, so we can head over there, which is great. Chef is still napping. Let's just is a strong word to describe Darians. I can't say if they really are or not. I haven't ever tried one. You know what, Greninja? Honestly, I think my best E3. I don't remember if they showed off Kingdom Hearts 3 for the first time at E3, but I do remember them showing off the Final Fantasy VII Remake, and I cried. <laughs> I was so emotional because it's one of my favorite, favorite games in the world. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how they handle it. No worries, Harv. We'll see you later if we don't see you uh, in a little bit. Freaking hell, welcome back. Okay, so good. We can reach this little island. Um, that is going to be either, I'm assuming, the sail or the um, or a nugget or something like that, which would be really frustrating, but... Um, okay. I could probably- mm, I don't really need a net. I'm just gonna eat and sleep. Mine is us! Welcome back! How's it going? Oh, Andrew. 100%. We need Luigi's Mansion. So we need- we need Pokemon, which we're gonna get this week. Or next week. Uh, we need Animal Crossing, we need Luigi's Mansion. We need that sum sum game. <laughs> I haven't forgotten about that one. What else was there? There was something else I'm forgetting. Pepper, I have not forgotten. <laughs> oh, Shep isn't feeling well. You can't explore as many spaces. You can recover by resting. You're just gonna rest and recover, buddy. Some some game? Yeah, there's a some some game coming to the Switch and it's like a, a really cute puzzle game or something. It's it's adorable. Oh, the new Zelda game. Very true. Metroid Prime 4. Is that actually confirmed to happen now? <laughs> it was not a tarantula, it was a snake. <laughs> um Pine, there's there's um there's a conference tonight, but it's not a direct, which is next week. There will be a Pokemon direct next week. Hi Shiba, how's it going? Welcome on in. EA is bougie and has their own event since four expansions probably coming. Ooh, fascinating. I wouldn't- that wouldn't surprise me if they want to release a nice big expansion right after they release the game for free, the base game. <laughs> okay, one of these has to be something. Okay, that's honey. Come on, one of these have to be something. <laughs> Natalie, how's it going? Yeah, it's, it's uh, June 11th. 
Online playing Sims 4. It doesn't surprise me. I mean, you know, they give away the game for free. <gasps> no. No, Poncho. <laughs> Fireblaze, not at all. How are you doing? What, expansion of the summer and one around November? Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm frustrated. Because <laughs> I want to go up here. Do you guys think there's going to be anything in the center here? Oh no, you know, oh gosh, I don't know. I'm gonna waste it. No, I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go there last. If I'm missing something, I'll go there last. Okay, so Shep is feeling better, so that's great. So I can actually focus on healing Poncho. Two weeks on Tuesday until E3. That's crazy. That's crazy. Well, uh, Let's Go Jota game. I want to see them do every single Pokemon generation in Let's Go format because it, I loved it. <laughs> oh, I could make the gold net because that was actually really helpful last time. I'm gonna do that. I'm probably gonna regret this. It's fine though. So the golden net, if you guys don't know, it can be used on the main map to like clear away some of the fog and expose what the items are, or the spaces are, but it also breaks after one use, so. Got so much criticism. I thought it was a great- if for a spin-off game, it's fantastic. It was the first Pokemon game, proper Pokemon game, on a home console, like, not a handheld, even though Switch is kind of handheld. And it was great, it was really- it was really cute. Okay, Chef. There's our mast. Okay, so we just need one more log. It's one more. AC Apollo, I heard about Fire Emblem. I didn't hear. Oh, no, I, I heard about Pocket Camp. Didn't hear about Fire Emblem. I'm assuming. I think someone told me before. They put in some sort of. Like. Law into effect where games can't have microtransactions. I'm assuming that's why. I don't really know the reasoning behind it, that's the thing. I'm having such bad luck today. Such bad luck. <laughs> okay, Shep is down again. gambling because the cookies are random right right someone told me this um i mean it kind of sucks but like you know i can somewhat understand it um i think i'd be a little bit more fine with it if it wasn't just overall banned and if they somehow had a way i know it's impossible pretty much but they somehow had a way to like id an account so they could see how old you are um because I don't know about over there, over here, as long as you're 18 or whatever, you're allowed to gamble. <laughs> oh, Poncho. <laughs> and people with addictive personalities, yes, yes. It's probably better in the long run, but it is kind of sad that they can't play anymore. This is just a bad day. <laughs> it's a bad day. Um, okay, so it could be up here. I'm going to assume it's going to be in here. At least that's what I'm going to hope. Uh, Camus Jackson, hello, how's it going? Welcome on in. Oh, Lady Potato, we were talking about Pocket Camp and Fire Emblem. I don't remember the name. Uh, on, for, for phones in, I think you guys are saying Belgium, right? It's like, win prizes, have fun, so much money, please gamble responsibly. <laughs> that girl, I'm doing pretty good. Similar person think eventually game companies will just find it more beneficial to remove loot boxes altogether. Hopefully Bucky have been... Oh, they get altered. Yeah, I think... Honestly, I'm not really big on loot boxes generally, so... That might be a good idea. Chef needs to rest again. <laughs> Going in blind. 
Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I'm glad the boxes are going away. Yeah, that's the thing. They're not really all that great for us, right? Okay, no, we got this. Elvis, we got this. Uh, Lily, yep, always do. A Pepsi snake. <laughs> Take all the money that you don't want to spend. Yeah, like... Oh no, our slingshot broke. <laughs> they're, they're... They're not necessarily guaranteed to give you anything good, right? So you are technically going to be wasting currency or your actual money on it. Whatever the in-game currency would be. Actually unlock it by playing the game? Yeah. Such a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> but we are, uh, we are having a very good run at Desert Island Escape. I will give the game that. I'm gonna head down here with Poncho. Yeah, the amount of pitfalls on this island is far too high. <laughs> um, and like, we've also gotten hurt so many times, we're just having terrible, terrible luck. Thank you. <laughs> the game hurt me. I know, we are so close. We need one- we need one log. And we have five days left to find it. We might run out of food. <laughs> if these pitfalls don't get to us first. Thank you! <laughs> uh... Cosmetic loot boxes don't negatively impact the game mechanics while it does remove player customization freedom. I never really was one to bother with those either just because, again, they don't really make much of a difference. It's purely cosmetic, so... Oh no, I'm about to use the net in the wrong place. This is not good. I don't think this net is going to be very effective. Oh no. Okay, well, at least we know it's not over there. Huge part of the playing experience for some people? Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Um, just for me personally, I never really bothered, but I know some people who, like, they need all the things and stuff like that. <laughs> Greninja, I'm hoping I can avoid it. Put it that way. Okay, so it could be there. I'm assuming it's in here, and if not, it's there. So we have five, four days. We could probably do this. Yeah, we're not gonna run out of food. I think we're gonna be just fine. Watch as we run out of time. <laughs> oh, then it didn't break. You're absolutely right. Maybe there's a certain amount of squares it has to uncover first. That's weird. Fascinating, though. Good to know. Um, AC Apollo- oop. Well, we found the thing. Um, other than Pokemon, I'm potentially gonna be streaming, um, Kingdom Hearts 1. That's something I really want to go through. Um, I also eventually would like to stream Majora's Mask, but it's not gonna be the next game we play. Um, there's that game called Kinsey that we were talking about yesterday, I think, on stream that looks fantastic that I really want to play. If you're a fan of Stardew, go look it up. <laughs> um, there's quite a few other other than Animal Crossing Switch, of course. <laughs> That's going to take up a lot of my time when that comes out. Yay, we escaped on our first try. It was that one island earlier on that we got stuck on. This one? This one wasn't so bad. Honestly, I, I want to leave it up to our team because these three together work really well. Um, Tutor, you know what? I don't know. I don't know how much longer is left in terms of like even hours. Um, yeah, Andrew, there's only one more map left for Desert Island's Escape and then we're done. Which is kind of crazy. <laughs> I'm considering going back and trying to get the high scores, but I don't think I'll be able to do that. I guess we could try though. No worries, Dagger. I hope you feel better. 
Um, I did consider playing Puzzle League, but like... Oh, <laughs> I can't do that game. Alrighty. We need music- <gasps> Oh, no, wait. See, yesterday I was playing this game, obviously, and I bought a stereo for downstairs, and unfortunately, it, um... It was swiped by Gaston before I could get home, and I didn't want to say no to him. Um... Macanzaroni? I'm not sure if I'm saying your name right. Hello? Oh, is that not- Oh, that's just a- that's just for, um, looks, and I thought I could actually, like, play music through that. No one says no to Gaston. Exactly, like, I couldn't say no to him. I felt guilty. Do I have any other music players here? Actually, do I have any in this room? I don't. Okay. I could tutor, I could. Um... I just wanna see if there's anything else that I have. Actually, it'll be in my secret storage. Oh wait, that can go downstairs. Um, what's the difference? <laughs> I don't know what the difference is between those two. Black screen and widescreen TV. I don't think I have any more. Staxel. AC Apollo, I've been playing that recently. I've been uh, getting Mike into playing it as well with me. What's thoughts on maple bacon lays? Oh, I don't... Mm. <laughs> I'm not really a big bacon person on the whole. Um, and I'm really not a big maple person. <laughs> Is this the one that goes on the wall? I want the one on the... Wall? No? Are neither of these on the wall? Seriously? Yeah, Staxel's a lot of fun. It's- if you guys don't know Staxel, it's almost like Stardew crossed with a little bit of Animal Crossing crossed with Minecraft. Um, it's quite interesting. There's multiplayer. Oh, AC Apollo, no, I am. And I, I still am. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes more sense. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I was looking for the TV that goes up on the wall, but... That's okay. There we go. Oops. It's too quiet down here. I don't like it. <laughs> we need all the uh, music. Oh, actually, do I have a stereo that I could steal from upstairs, maybe? Because I don't really go upstairs anymore. See if I do. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I do. I'm just gonna yoink. <laughs> I thought the song continued playing. I was like, that's weird. Matt girl habit, <laughs> pure habit of years and years of moving stuff. Um, I'm just gonna put this, like, oh no, actually, this is probably a better place. Okay, what should we play down here? Nope. Potentially. We have the upstairs. I don't know why I don't like that one. No. Nope. <laughs> it's tempting. Totaka's song is tempting. I might keep it with this one. This one gives me like old school vibes. This room needs to change down here. First life is cute. It is very cute. 
You know, I think I might go stop over at Timmy and Tommy's and see if we don't have any... It's rainy again. <laughs> see if we don't have any um, wallpaper and flooring that might look good down there. I was gonna say, watch as someone pings me right now. He's so ticked off. <laughs> um... Reminds you of Sims the Herbs. Lady Potato, are you meaning like the GameCube version or PS2? Like console or handheld? So I had both. I like the handheld one a bit better. And Kiki, hello, how's it going? Welcome on in. Got to do roses. I can't do them now that it's raining. That's the thing. Oh, DS. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Let's see what we got. I don't think I have very much, honestly. Oh, wait. That's not... There we go. Um... Tempting. <laughs> I'm not hating that. Rumor that The Sims was going to be on the Switch. That's fascinating. Play on the DS, I got stuck around 8% of the game, though. I think the DS one was just a port of the GBA one, from what I remember, because I do have both. Sims 2 on the DS is a premium quality game. I love that one. <laughs> it's the Apollo. It's one of my favorites, I'm not going to lie. But it's okay. Oh, I could have Isabella's paw print wall. Maybe. Cleaning and owning a hotel. It was so much fun. Are you joking? It was hilarious. Doctor told me to exercise more. My life is ruined. Oh, mine would probably say the same thing. <laughs> exercise more. Eat a lot less. Um. Well, you know, let me look at the floors. What have, what have I got here? <gasps> no, I shouldn't do Alpine. It's tempting, though. Andy Kiki, we did some uh, dailies. We had, um, oh, what's her name? Um, Gracie in our town today. We passed our first, we passed our first fashion check. There we go. Um, I might, oh, that one's not for sale. Um, we tried to do the diving trick for public works projects. We didn't get any. <laughs> and then we played Desert Island Escape and we won, which is great. I might do something like this. This kind of feels basement y to me. The cheese floor. No, it reminds me of that terrible course in Mario Kart. <laughs> Can't do it. You know what? That screen's basement to me. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, okay. So that's all good. Right, man themed room. Oh gosh, I love it. Um Oh wait, I haven't connected my happy home designer game yet. Oh BB, I wish I was in that same mindset. I really wish I was. Get that giant recity. I gotta I gotta connect my games first. I forget how that works. How does that work? I have to plug in my Happy Home Designer cartridge to this 3DS and then take it out and then put in New Leaf and then it'll come up, I think? Was that a thing? Or was it the save data? I don't remember how it works. Play Sims tomorrow and burn. Play Aya Goth and marry Bella Goth. Oh, that's a good life. I love that. No idea how it works, but the things are catalogable, so someone wink want could deliver them. Yeah, but like I, I should have access to them on my own, right? I'll look into that after stream, I think, because I wanna, I wanna get that giant Rossetti. I'm not gonna lie, it's my favorite item. All the all the welcome Weebo stuff was such a great addition. Belgoth is an iconic queen. Oh, actually, question, Sims fans. The Sims 1 was the first one, obviously. The Sims 2 was a 
equal to The Sims 1. The Sims 3 was a prequel, if I'm understanding that correctly, because Bella Goth is a child in that one. When does The Sims 4 take place? Is that more modern? Oh, you are so cute. <laughs> It, it's a weird- I know it's a weird order. She'll ask you about New Leaf. Take out the New Leaf cartridge. Ooh, okay. I've had enough of you. <laughs> I've seen you enough, sir. Is The Sims for an alternate universe? Alternate timeline. Gods are children in The Sims 4 also. Oh, fascinating. Okay. That's interesting. I didn't know that. I just know- I've, I found out only last night that The Sims 4 doesn't have burglars anymore. Legit just found this out last night while talking to Max and I was so shocked because it's a staple. It's one of those horrifying things that happens. Fascinating. But uh, guys, I think I might wrap up this stream a little bit early here. Um, I have something else I need to be doing because I spent my entire morning playing The Sims 3. Um, if you guys would just hang on with me for just a second here, though, I want to see if there's anyone else online who I can give a little bit of a host or a read to. Um. Ooh. Okay. Would you guys like to watch Pokemon X and Y? Uh, Wild World. Or Tomodachi Life, because I know we kind of- we actually talked about all those- all those kind of today, so. Matsuri, message me on Discord, and probably later on this evening. Let's see here. Pokemon, Tomodachi. <laughs> Let's see. Wild World- oh no! Everyone's answering differently. Wild Worlds! Okay. No, I'm seeing more Wild Worlds, so we're gonna go and give Kenny Hill a little bit of a host here. Just a little bit. She's playing Wild World. I don't know why it says she's playing New Leaf. That actually really threw me for a loop there, but... Um, either way, guys, go give her some love. Be nice. Her channel is very, very friendly and very nice. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you guys tomorrow.